Alright guys, we have our uh, Friday workout, right? Warm up is pretty basic, three rounds of that, show you that in a second. Your workout, uh, I came up with a new format today. We've got 40 minutes on the clock, okay? we got three rounds, we got some reps, 16, 20, 24, nothing too, too bad, but the goal here is when you finish your three rounds, whatever you have left on the clock for your time, that's how long you get on that machine, all right? So I'll talk about that more in a second, but uh, let's review our warm-up. All right, all right, so we got our step-ups, basic step-ups, 12 of those, plank swings, again, I like to do the warm-up with both hands on the ground, get a nice stretch as you do six of those, then you have your squat to stand. So you guys, take your time with this one, stay low for a little bit. Open up those, uh, you get those hips up to the sky as you stretch out those hamstrings and then hang back down here for a little bit. Get both, one hand at a time. Reach, reach, both hands up. Oof. Very important stretch. I'd say work on that one all the time. Then you get your forward to back, lunge, three forward, three back. So it's six on each side, three forward, three back. Slash your halo, right? Kettlebell, get those shoulders stretched out up, around, and back down. Okay, six of those. Switch on the box, right? Make sure you keep your weight over the front of the box. The goal is to drive that leg up. You don't want to be sitting back, right? You want to be on top of that box. So you get 12 of those, and then your in step stretch, okay? Three of those on each side. Again, it's not so much how many you do. I like to sit there and hang out for a little bit. So again, take your time as you stretch on that one. All right, now again, that main workout, we're gonna work for 40 minutes, 40 minutes on that clock. And you're gonna work through, just like a traditional Fast Friday, do all the number ones. So you start with your kettlebell exercise, then you go to your box exercise, then a core exercise, all the twos, threes, fours, five. Round one is 16 reps, so it's total. So it's eight reps per side, okay? And then we're going up to 20 reps, 10 aside, 24 reps, 12 aside, okay? You go light and fast, you're getting done early, you'll have more time on your machine. Now, if you go regular weight or heavier, you know, go at a pace that works for you. My guess is most people will have somewhere between three, maybe two to three, some people up to five to six minutes of machines left, okay? So again, depending on how much time you have left, Play a game with yourself, you know, if you finish early enough and you have enough time, well, 60 reps is how many reps you do of each exercise for the workout. Maybe you can get to 60 calories on the machine. That's, that's pretty aggressive, but some of you, I think, can do it. Maybe you uh, finish with two minutes left on the clock and you want to just finish 24 calories, what you finish with. Maybe you're in competition with the person next to you, right? And you want to get more calories than they get before the end of the workout. Whatever it is, have a fun with it, have a game with it, you know? It's our last workout before our 4th of July weekend, Independence weekend, right? I know a lot of us are gonna be partying hard, so let's work hard on this last workout before that, okay? And a reminder, right, we're closed Friday night, all right? So Friday noon is your last chance to get this workout in. No classes on Saturday, all right? So uh, again, we're doing all the number one. So you do your kettlebell exercise, your box exercise, your core. But let me just show you all the kettlebell exercises first, okay? So, number one, rotational press, all right? So with the weight racked up on your shoulder, you're gonna turn and press at the same time. So you're gonna pivot the same side that has the weight, pivot, press, all right? So slow motion again, we're gonna pivot that back foot, even that front foot, pivot as you press, okay? So again, first round is eight on each side. Then, the second kettlebell exercise, is your around the world. Remember we did this one a couple weeks ago? Try to keep our balance, so on one leg, we go around the world, okay? So we're doing eight of these on each leg. If you want to switch directions halfway through, so four going one way, all right, on one leg, four on the other, and then switch directions, four going one way, four going the other. All right, so that's a good one. Split stance, uh, twist. So this is a new one, all right? But two exercises we've done plenty. So you're in your split stance, right? Is up in front just a little bit, and we're doing our twist. Okay, so again, we'll do eight with one stance, eight with the other stance. Another kind of new one, but again, nothing too new. We're gonna kneel, both knees on the ground, nice and long, so you can't use any legs here as we do our curl, all 
All right, we're doing a lot of curls lately, getting those biceps working. All right, and then a goblet pulse squat. Okay, so our goblet, right, we're under our chin. We're gonna squat, a little pulse, and then stand. All right, did you see that extra little squat? Go in slow motion. We squat, a little pulse, and then all the way up. All right, so regular speed is up, 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 up. Just a little, little extra down low. That'll add up half the time. So those are all your kettlebell exercises, all right? And boxes. Only gonna need two boxes. I don't think anyone's gonna need more than two. First one is our heel touches, right? Down and up, right? Not really putting any pressure on that toe. Now, the walk the dog, as I heard someone call this once, all right? It's kind of like a forward to back lunge, basically, where the leg is on the box, okay? So the walk the dog's because it looks like you, right? You can use those arms and extend, we're going forward. And uh, every, every time you move, it's going to count as a rep, right? So that's one, two, three, four. Try to stay low on the knee that's on the box, okay? So we do eight on one leg, eight on the other. All right, assisted groiners. Now, you don't have to do an assisted if you don't want to. The regular groiner is here, pop and pop. Now, assisted hands will just be up on the box, so they just a little bit easier, all right? Maybe get your hands up nice and high. Okay, I'm sorry, get your feet up nice and high. But that is your groiners assisted is just being hands on the box, all right? And then our squat touch. Okay, we did this a couple weeks ago. Your goal is to be low, like you're squatting on the box, so this knee almost stays at that level. Then we go back, one, two, three, Four, okay, so just do that. Uh, so round one will be 16, so it's eight on one leg, eight on the other. Every time the leg moves, it counts as a rep. And this last one, another new one, just kind of made up, called the, we call it the, 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 the lateral switch, lateral switch step. Okay, so every time you go over the box, it counts as a rep. And we're doing a switch on the box, and kind of a switch in the middle, back onto the other box. So I might turn this so you can see both angles. But our switch, right, you're gonna start with the closest leg on the box, switch, then switch in the middle, and then switch on the box, and then one, two, three, and then we'll back on the box again. Switch, 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 one, two, three. Switch, 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 one, two, three. All right, so it'll take a little getting used to that. I'll make sure you're uh, comfortable when you're in here. Uh, it's just a way, uh, a means of moving those feet kind of quick, up and over, in between. And again, every time you go over the box, so we go over, that's one, that's two, three, four. It'll take a little getting used to. Once you're in that rhythm, I think you'll be good. Those are your box exercises. And then our core, all right. All right, we've got our cycling twist. Every time you touch the ground, count as a rep. All right, long name, side plank, bottom knee, top elbow. Okay, so it's a hand, um, forgot to write this too. It's a hand plank, not on your elbow. We're gonna be up on our hand, all right? And we're nice and tall, so we take our bottom knee up to our top elbow, okay? So we're nice and long here, up top. Bring that bottom knee up to that top elbow, okay? If you need to make this a little easier, you bend your top leg, all right, makes it a little bit more manageable as you then bring that bottom knee to that top elbow, okay? Again, half on each side, your V up, leg drop. Remember this, your V up here, one, two, three, stay nice and tall with that chest, push that chest forward, all right? Number four, push-ups, all right, might sound like a lot, but hey, break them down, do as many as you can, stop. Some people are really good with the push-ups, all right? And then you can do decline push-ups, right? Put your feet on the box, all right? Push them too easy, here, go like that. Put your arms up hard, go to the knees, put your hands on the box, all right? That'll make it a little bit easier. So find where you are, but let's work on keeping our shoulders back, chest forward, making that W with your hand. Doesn't matter how far out they are, but if you twist your palms on the ground and make that W, it helps lock those shoulders back 
where we want them to be. And we're going to finish with our triangle sit-ups. All right, here and there. We're going to do half on each side. All right, so you do 16 reps. Right to 20 reps. Right to 24 reps. And push yourselves, all right? See where you're at? When you finish with those triangle sit-ups, don't worry about cleaning up. You do that afterwards. Get on that machine. Boogie. See how many calories you can get in. Challenge your neighbor. Challenge whoever's close to you. Challenge yourself. But let's get this workout in. Let's push hard. So that way we can play hard over the weekend. All right, guys. Enjoy this one. I think it's going to be fun.